Okay, so in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to set up a system inside a Webflow that's going to allow your user to submit their information on your website and then pre-fill a Calendly form. So let me show you exactly how this works. You can see here we have this system set up here, and this will be a clonable that will be in the description of this video. Now, what you can do is input our email in here, and then when we hit submit, it should link us off to an external Calendly form. And then when we start filling out information on Calendly, our email will already be pre-filled. So you can see here, if I hit submit, it's gonna link us off to Calendly. And then when I select a time inside of this Calendly form, what should happen is our email will already be pre-filled in. So you can see, let's select this time and we've got our email here, perfect. So the reason we've been using this system rather than just linking externally off to the Calendly form in the first place is because the user is actually committing to submit some information. They're sharing a small amount of information so they're much more likely to fill out the rest of the information on the Calendly form. Now let's jump into Webflow and I'll walk through exactly how this code's working and then I'll show you exactly how to set this up for yourself. Now, if we go over to our clonable, you can see inside of here, we've got the documentation of how all of this is working. Now, the very first thing we need to do is to get three different IDs. So what's happening with the code is we're getting the actual email form itself. So it's like the outer wrapper. Then we're getting the email. So we need the actual email that's been input by the user. And then we're getting the button that the user is clicking to submit that information. Then what we're doing is we're running a function when the user hits submit. We then jump into the piece that you need to customize inside of here, which is your Calendly booking link. Then all we're doing with that email information is we're prefixing that email onto the calendar link. And then when we jump over to Calendly, what you'll be able to see inside of this link is my email address. So what's happened is we're pre-filling the information by just amending it to this link. Then with the rest of the code, all we're doing is creating a little sequence here that is redirecting the user off to Calendly. And we're just giving it a couple seconds to breathe before they're linked off to that Calendly form. Now let me jump into Webflow and show you exactly how to set this up for yourself. So all you need here is a form input. And then inside of that form input, what you need to do is go to the one wrapper below the very outer form block. Then you need to set the ID to email dash form. Then we need to go to the input for the email, change the ID of this to email, and then probably you want the name of it to also be email, type to be email, and then probably a, a placeholder inside of here. With that, you'll also need to make sure that it is required so we're not trying to submit nothing when the person hits submit. Then we're gonna go over to the button and we're just gonna change the ID to form-btn. Now, the very last thing we actually need to do with this form is just to go on the form overall, set the redirect URL to a hashtag and then the action to a HTTP forward slash hashtag. This is then gonna just allow us to amend our new URL that we're creating when the person hits submit to be the destination that we're redirecting them to. So now that we've got everything set up on page, all we need to do is grab the code, adjust the code to our URL, and then make sure we paste it in the correct place inside of Webflow. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and hit copy this, and all we're gonna need to do is change out our Calendly link inside of here. So if I just jump into Webflow, go over to our page settings, and then go down to the before body tag. I'm just gonna come to the very bottom of here, and we're gonna open up a pair of script tags. So this is gonna be running that script. So let's just open them up down here. And then I'm gonna paste this code in between those script tags. And then finally, what I'm gonna do is just go over to the URL and we can change that URL however we want it. So obviously I'm just gonna send it here because this is where my email is set up. But all you need to do is change where you're sending that information to. Now there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can also make it specific to an exact form or you can actually send it just to the general hub of a company. So inside of Calendly, what you could do is, for example, if I just used forward slash test, that is now sending someone to the exact form. Whereas if I just use Wise Labs, it's gonna send them to the overall space where if I had multiple forms, they'd be able to see those different booking links. So that's all you need to change inside of here is your URL. Once you're good with this, just hit save and then publish, and then your booking link should work when the user inputs that information. Once you're happy with the rest of this, you can just change the redirect time if you do want to make that a little bit shorter. Just hit save, 
then publish your site. And then what should happen when you publish the site is the user should be redirected off to that Calendly booking form with their email information already pre-submitted to Calendly. So it's much quicker for them to fill out the rest of their information and they've already made that commitment. Hopefully it was helpful and thank you very much for watching.